I don't need you in my life, Dwarf Scroll. I do need iron and coal. There's a piece of coal. Well, hello once again, everybody. Welcome back to... Ch uh, nah, I was going to say Challenge Farm. Bluegrass Farm. Bluegrass Farm. Uh, spirits are neutral. Oh, anyway, what do we got? A storm is approaching. Even more thunder and lightning is coming. Not necessarily terrible because we do have lightning rods. I heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone seems thankful. I'm awarding you this month's Best Neighbor Award with a small cash prize. Keep it up. 500 G. Thanks for purchasing a coop upgrade in addition to doubling the capacity. I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. To use the incubator, place an egg inside. If you have any space left, the egg will hatch in several days. Thanks for your business. Robin, thank you for your assistance. So we do still have some moss up here on a couple of trees, I notice. What happened to the rest of the trees? Now that they are all back to being normal trees again. But I think it like super sped up the growth of some of them. Is what it seems like to me. Uh, let's just, yeah. Definitely feels like it's sped up some of the growth. Wait. Wait, which tree is not in the... You. You're not in the row. Okay. Took me a second to figure that one out. Is that... Are you a seed? Yes. Okay. I think we got it back to figure it out again. Now we just need more tappers. <gasps> we got another mossy seed. Ooh, fancy. Okay, that's two mossy seeds. I don't know what they grow, but we've got them. And we've got milk. Well, very good. It's the same kind of milk that we got last time. Hello, chickens. Good morning. We can get ducks now. Oh, look at this. So much room. We could just make another chicken. More chickens is more money. All right, let's do that. We're going we're gonna to start a chicken, and we're going to go buy some ducks. That's the plan. We're going to try and stick to it. Now, can I make a cheese press? What do I need? Wood, stone, hardwood, copper. Okay. Well, we don't have a lot of copper. All right. You know what we, you know what we really need is uh, more copper. And I'm going to need hardwood. Okay. And I don't have a lot of wood either. Stone. I think I can make two. Perfect. <laughs> okay, well. I mean, at least it worked out, right? Quick stack, whatever is there. Quick stack, all this. Do we need a... Wow, we got a lot of fiddlehead ferns, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Stack all of those. Put that away. Okay, so how many can we make? I need iron. Where else can I... I guess we're just going to have to do this, huh? Got some more row. Just trying to thin out the chest a little bit there. Alright. We need 10 of these and two more of those. We can make even more gold. <sighs> yeah, we can only make we can only make four. But four more is four more. Did I I did. I did. I got all that stuff out and then I don't think I actually I didn't make Oh no, I did make them. They're there. Never mind. Right. So, where do we put you? I guess I'll stick those over here. 
make some cheese. We need the watering can. Wow, I am just all thrown off right now, aren't I? Time to water things. Alrighty. So what do we do? We need ducks. I need iron. I also could use some more trout. Because the trout event is starting tomorrow. And I could use some more trout bait, probably. Something to think about. We'll be fishing in the lightning storm. That ought to be entertaining. Cows are very excited today. Our melons are done. Now the question is, is I, I mean, I could grow like some radishes or something. But is it worth the time to get them? I mean, maybe. I really need some more kegs so I can make more of these hops into pale ale, which is a part of my plan in life to make some money. But I only have one keg. Because I need more tappers. Any more copper? Do we just buy some copper? Like, is that something we do? Maybe. Maybe it is. How did I miss that one corn, by the way? I'm not sure. Nope, missed. I could have moved, I guess. Look at this. <laughs> it's never going to be funny. Like, stop being funny. This is... Oh, it's so good. That is the best animation in the game. Hands down. Bar none. It is my new favorite thing in life and Stardew. And it's time to water the hops. That's right. Now, next season when we're growing some grapes, that won't be an issue because we'll have a sprinkler in there. That'll be a lot easier. And don't forget, we did get a star drop, so we have more energy now than we've ever had so far in this playthrough. And that is perfect timing to be able to uh, go and do things like fish all day during the Trout Derby. That's what I'm saying. Alright, so what are we going to do with the rest of our gold? We're going to make some worm bins. Is the goal. And, um... Hopefully, what will happen then is that we can, uh... Yeah, make those into deluxe worm bins. Looking forward to that. Do I need cheese for anything, or can we just sell it? I'm not sure. We do have some gold. I'm going to have to look. Let me just... What do we need for the... Hardwood or something? Hardwood, gold, iron, and fiber. Okay, so... Hardwood... Gold, iron, and fiber. Hardwood, fiber. Right, so we can make two, three of these? I will use the rest of my iron on that, yes. And then we need some moss. And maybe I'll eat this summer vegetable here. Now, we don't need any of these, right? We do? What do I still need corn for? Hang on a second. No, that's done. That summer crops are done. What? What would I still need corn for? Oh, 10 corn for the spirit bundle. Oh, well then. I guess... It doesn't matter what ones we take over. As long as there's ten of them. And now I need some moss. We got a decent amount of moss. This is going to use a chunk of it. 
but that is a, a chunk I'm willing to spend. Oh, we can do the dino egg. Can we? Oh, do we need a max level? I don't remember. Uh, you know, we are sort of like running out of space here. Um, nope, that's not where I want you. <laughs> There we go. It is Friday also. There might be some things down here at the traveling cart that we might need. I guess we'll go explore that. So in answer to my question, no, it was just a visual representation of the trees that changed. They were not different trees. But they also did not drop... I was hoping they would drop some of those moss seeds for me, but I guess that's not how it works. Let's eat this. We'll do something with energy later in the day, I'm sure. Okay, what do we got? Midnight carp, don't need radish seeds. Don't need beet, don't need corn, don't need fish taco. Carolyn's favorite. It's pretty expensive, but plus two fishing. <sighs> too expensive. Ooh, a red snapper. Yeah, but I, what was the... We were only getting paid, like, what, like 200 for that? We would lose money. Fish stew. Ooh. Plus three fishing for the entire day, basically? You know what? I am going to spend money on that one. I am going to grab that one. We will utilize that tomorrow. Do I need melons? No. All right, then. So now we're making mayonnaise and cheese. Life is good. Be progressing a slightly faster in terms of daily guaranteed incomes. From the cheese and the mayonnaise. And I need iron very, very badly. And we need to go say hello to Tiger the cat. And uh, drop off some water. Did we already say hello, Tiger? It looks like we did. Right then. Sell the melons. Sell that corn. Sell the mayonnaise and the cheese. Okay. Quick stack that. Quick stack that. Put those away. Get out these. And then let's just see how much bait we have before I... I mean, we have 40. That's not a bad amount. Yeah, okay. Let's put that away. The worm bins will give us bait tomorrow. Although, yeah, I mean, we, I will grab it. But we're going to use this bait for sure. <sighs> Is there a way... That I could get a little more money instantaneously. I don't think that's going to be enough. If I I should have I should have just sold those melons at Piers. Dang. The dang, the dang, dang, the ding, the long, ding, dong, ding. Now you may be wondering why I say that. That's because we could have enough money to go get the iridium fishing rod. But I think. I will just hold on to what we have. Hold on for one more day. I know that there's pain. Hold on for one more day. Uh, but we're going to hold on for one more day because... Uh, first of all, I don't think I need it for that event. Second of all, what we do need is money for crops in the fall. So let's just hold out. 10 coal. We might be able to get 10 coal. We are going to the mines. Uh, we are going to fight some dust sprites. So uh, it's possible. And we need the Spirit Eve bundle. Let's just drop that there and drop that there. And then that's done. Okay, so once we have enough money and we buy all of our fall crops, what do we do? The goal will be to try to earn 42,500 gold to unlock the desert before winter. That's going to be the goal. Will that happen? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. The 
grab some more moss while we're walking around up here. Oh, there's Maru. Hello, Maru. Oh, there's more grapes. Oh, yeah, we'll grab that one on the way out. Although, we don't have to because the mine car works now. Very exciting. For 100? No, we want like 40. Because I need iron. I keep saying that. There it is. Beautiful. Yes, iron. Precious iron. I need you so much. I also could use some coal. I'm really tired of this dwarf scroll. Away with you. I don't need you in my life, dwarf scroll. I do need iron and coal. There's a piece of coal. There's another one. Oh no! We've been we've been uh, green rained. <laughs> oh goodness! What a wild event that was that green rain, huh? Last episode that was fun. So so many bushes everywhere. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. I will say what I'm not enjoying is trying to find a staircase. There we are. Ah, yes, yeah, some more dust sprites. Perfect. Hello, friends. Could you drop me some more coal, please? Thank you. That is so kind. We're at four out of ten. And then we just have to find Clint. Not too hard to do on a Friday. He will be in the saloon. We know where he's going. As long as I can get enough coal. We're halfway. Ah, over halfway. So this is probably my favorite part part slash time of the game is is right about here. Like year one spring fall it really shows you kind of how you're how you're doing. Oh, there we go. We got the last mystery box. In terms of like setting yourself up to really like uh, go forward from there. Now, are there are more optimal things you can do? Sure. Like people who know how to really min max the game and its systems. First of all, are a constant source of surprise to me because I'm awful at that. But second of all, there's so much little details to remember there that I'm just, I'm not good at remembering those details. So that's why I don't do that. In case any of you were ever wondering. We already got over 30 iron. And we got the coal we needed. So that's another, what, 400-ish? Pretty nice. Uh, let's, let's actually ride this into town. And then we'll head over slowly to the saloon and see if we can't find Clint along the way. I'm assuming he's still in the saloon, but you never know. And then do I just have to talk to him or do I have to show him the the oars? Here you go, Sebastian. I really love this. How'd you know? Uh, magic and experience. All right, Clint. You brought the ores. Great. I like to inspect local ores from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. Let me just look. Mm, thank you. You can keep them. Here's your payment. Thank you. Somehow the old town minecart system started working again. Very convenient for getting to and from the mines. Don't get too cozy, though. They can start up so suddenly it could just as well shut down. That was a dud here. I thought I was finally my chance to be a hero. Well, back to the grindstone. Do you have work to do? Uh, probably. While well, the fish seem as healthy as ever, I swear they've been biting with extra vigor. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Well, glad to see things are back to normal. Looks like it was all overblown, just like everything. Been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation. Well, that was quite the excitement for our little town. I'm just relieved everyone's okay. Good evening. Good to see you socializing. Just gonna stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. What are you? You got like a, a martini or something? What do you got going on there? Looks like we all got scared for nothing. The rain was harmless. All right, we need to go buy some uh, ducks. 
Hill, you look puzzled. I guess the hot summer air can make us all a little dizzy. Guess everyone in town was scared of that strange rain. I had no idea. I just thought it was incredible. Me too. Guess the end times haven't come just yet, kid. Oh, I guess another pint of your strongest. Glad that's over. Running the saloon's enough to worry about. I don't need exotic weather in my life. Business has been good tonight. I'm pleased. If I wasn't so busy, I'd come help you on the farm. But Gus would be upset if I had another job. Well, maybe Gus just needs to not be upset. I'd be okay if you came to help me on the farm, Emily. Okay, so we got our iron. Well, some iron, anyway. We did a good job with that. We got some more other various resources. And we can make a lot of this right away into uh, iron bars because we have a lot of furnaces now. All of that is good. Drop off a geode. Our one lonely geode. One lonely geode is all that we have. Can sell these. Now, what is it we're doing tomorrow? We are going to go fishing. That's what we're doing. So let's let's prep ourselves a little bit here for that activity. We can put those away. Let's grab out the watering can. Watering can, come to me. And the rod as well, yes. We'll do our chores real quick in the morning, and I guess off to fishing we'll go, huh? Right then. Ding! Go to sleep, yes. Ooh! Lot done that day, too. Look at all that money. A cool 5k. Alright, so we are slowly making money. Very slowly. It's inching forward. It's getting late. What? Weather report. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller today. Mildly perturbed. The Trout Derby has begun. Very exciting. I will be sure to check that out in just a moment. Alright, what else can we make or do we need to make? Um, there's not much else we can make, actually. I could do some more refined quartz. <sighs> but that's all. Ooh, but we could use all of our available resources to make five more sprinklers, which I think I am very tempted to do, actually. And we will do, in fact. Now, over here, let's, uh, let's grab a bream row. Was that sunfish? Okay. Gathering data on correlation between soil and... Okay, long I need a melon. I can bring you a melon, just not right at this second. Got some more bait. 13 deluxe bait, to be exact. Don't worry, cows. I'll get you some food. There you go. Now, we also need to go and give some food to... Our good friends, the chickens. Chickens, you also need food. No, don't eat the egg. Just say hello to the chickens. Hello, chickens. There we are. Perfect. A lovely amount of food for you. Enjoy it. And we will do this and that and that and that. And let's clear out our inventory. Uh, I don't need this right now. Or this. Okay, that was the right chest. Okay. And now we have... Ooh, here we go. More energy. I will take those for energy today. And down here, we will drop off some sprinklers. There we are. Grab our tomatoes. More harvesting. And our hops, of course, as well. Yes. Let's run by and grab all that stuff. I really need copper now. So, okay, our focus is going to be copper and wood here at the end of the month. 
just in case any of you were curious about that. There we are. Now, to the woods. We're going to go see what this derby thing is all about. And keep our eyes open in case we find an artifact spot. Also, maybe Marnie's open and we can buy some ducks. Hey, Marnie. Are you open today? I need some ducks. Not till 9. All right, well, we'll wait for 10 minutes. That's fine. It's been 10 minutes. Come on. Knock, knock. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There you are. Purchase animals. Ducks. I would like some ducks. All right. Duck names. Oh, that's a great question. Do we have any duck names left on the chart? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Animal names. SDV. Animal names. Where have you gone? Animal names. Actually, that's a great question. Where did it go? Dumb ideas. Games completed on stream. Games to stream. Recovery. Stardew Valley animal names. Yay, there we go. All right. Pigs, cows, chickens, ducks. Oh, we got we got tons of names for ducks. All right, cool. Uh, let's go with... Uh, Puddles. Puddles the duck. Okay. And, uh... I would like to purchase a second duck. And we're going to name the second duck Floppers. Because why not? I will send Floppers to her new home right away. All right. So we have to take that off the list. And what was the other one? Oh, Waddles would have been a great name too. Puddles. There we are. Grapes. <laughs> Excellent names. How's Bluegrass Farm doing? It's doing great, Marnie. Thank you for asking. Okay, ducks are taken care of. Now, we... Oh, hello. We're the famous fishing sisters. All right. We'll fish as many fish as we wish. Okay. Fishing pro. Now it's not a competition. Whoever gets the most tags will have the bragging rights the rest of the year. Some guy shows up wearing the same outfit as me. How embarrassing. I think I'm a little overdressed for this. Came all the way from Grampleton? Explanation. During this event, Rainbow Trout have a chance of carrying a golden tag. If you find one, turn it in for a prize. Seems like you don't have any tags. Okay, well, I, I guess we won't talk to everyone then. And we'll just go over here and uh, get fishing. Alright, well, here we go. Look at our little duck bobber. It's adorable. So we are using specific bait here. Hopefully that will be enough. Oh, we didn't bring the, uh, the stew. There we go. There's one. So how long does it go for during the daytime? Does it go until midnight? Do we? I don't know. I have no idea. The bait does seem to be working. I'll give it that much. Two casts, two rainbow trout. Okay, so... The bait is effective. That's good to know. And we really could bring the bait maker down here then. Nice. I'll have to go see what the prizes are in just a moment. Oh, that wasn't maximum power. I'm kind of loving the duck bobber, friends. It's pretty adorable. <laughs> oh, man. That's good times. We're not level 10 fishing yet, are we? There's a third charm? Okay. So how many do we need? I don't know. We'll have to find out, I suppose. Let's see what goodies await for us. I, re I don't know. I did not look at the rewards. I just looked at the fact that 
we would need to uh, have a lot of bait for the event. That's all I looked at. Um, so we'll see, I suppose. I failed to catch it perfectly. Now, do you have a higher chance to get a charm if you get a perfect catch? Is that how it works? Because we've gotten five perfect catches and four charms. So I don't know if there's a correlation there or not. I'm just curious. Oh, hey, there's Willie. Willie's coming over to try his hand at fishing. Hey there, Willie. How you doing, friend? All right, let's see if we get it. Oh, we didn't get it perfect. Is it just a static chance for every fish you catch, or...? Trying to figure out mechanics on the fly is always entertaining. All right, perfect catch. Here we go. And no tag. Okay. What time do rainbow trout stop biting? Seven o'clock? I really don't know. All right, maybe there's no correlation at all, and it's just a straight-up flat percentage. It would be interesting if a perfect catch netted you a higher, a higher rate of success. Thirteen casts. We had forty bait. So at this rate, we're going to burn through it pretty fast. Oh, hello. Super XP boost, go! That is wonderful. Okay, a sonar bobber. A bonus golden tag. You can get golden tags from the chests as well. That's interesting. Okay. I'll take it. I also enjoy this fish not really moving anywhere. That's nice. I appreciate that. All right, so we caught a chub with our rainbow trout bait. I assume it just drastically increases your chances to get the, the fish of the kind of bait you're using. That would be my understanding. 14 rainbow trout caught six tags, one from a chest. So five, that's one in three. That's not too bad as far as odds are concerned. I don't know what the actual percent is. Maybe I'll look it up here when we're done. I got some new ideas. Oh, we leveled up fishing. Well, well, well. We are brilliant. Is there a new star drop opportunity here at the fish event? That would be nice. Always looking for some more energy. It's hard to have too much. All right, let's just go over here and just see. Now that we have some of these. Get rewards. A tent kit. Is it just random? A hat? Oh, I, th I thought there would be, like, a list. Crab pot? Okay. Ooh, mystery boxes. Those are nice. A diamond. Hello, money. A really big plaque. Okay. <laughs> well, then. That is really funny. And I'm thinking we're going to have to go at some point and put some things back in the chest. We should bring a chest with us. Look at all the happy people fishing. All the happy people.
people efficient day. Hey, 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 hey. We now level 10 fishing. We are the fishing master. The master of the fish. Ooh, pike. Well then. Don't mind if I do do a little more fishing. I would like some more tags. Also, what's a bucket hat? That looked entertaining. Oh, you can see other people catching them. That's fun. Well, treasure chest it is. Sorry. Sorry, fish. Uh, I will try to catch you still, but... There's no way that you were going to go all the way to the top there. Two more. Sure. Deluxe bait. Oh, 20 of them even. That's pretty good. Oh, oh we, we can get espresso? <gasps> this might be my new favorite event. Just saying. If I can get espresso, we're going to fish our hearts out. <laughs> and just hope that we get more tags. Oh my. And of course we will get money from this as well. So it might even be possible to upgrade the barn. Uh, as soon as we get wood then. I just need wood. It's a lot of trees down here that we could uh, lovingly remove. Let's just say. And we have a lot on the farm, too, so... I mean, we sh I should be able to get to enough wood. What do you need? 400, right? It's like 450 or 500 wood or something. We might be low on stone. Now that I think about it. What was the pike row? But it just doesn't sound appetizing, does it? I don't feel like it does. Fish bouncing everywhere. Oh. It got away. Oh, I'm so sorry, friend. I'm so sorry that your fish got away from you. I've had that happen several times to me, and it's always disheartening to some extent. Speaking of fish and things getting away... You should all go check out... Uh, what is the name of that fishing channel that's super uh, chill? Uh, fishing with Andy, I think it is. Had a, had a viral moment earlier this year, and somebody posted about how this really nice guy was fishing and had all these videos but almost no views and suddenly had, you know, within a week, uh, hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers on uh, social media and here on YouTube. I think the name of the channel is Fishing with Andy. I'm pretty sure. Um, I have watched a few of the videos as well. And uh, I'm not I'm not even a big fan of fishing, really. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to check things out. You know, things that are not in your... In the realm of the things that you would normally watch. Just to see, you know, what, what all the uh, hullabaloo is about. What all the fuss is about. What all the discussion and excitement is about. We have caught 25 trout. We have to be running low on bait at this point. Maximum cast. Beep, beep. Is this an iridium ca catching area here in the middle? Yes, it is. Okay, we have three. All right, what else we got? A sprinkler. Ooh, you get some good stuff from this thing. Warp totems. Oh, my goodness. Omni geodes. What can you not get from this? This is, a, this is amazing. All right, let me just eat some of this algae real fast here. So bring up the menu. Let me go back over here to the wiki. I want to see rainbow trout. What time? I think they're only till seven, right? 
Yeah, 7 p.m. Okay. So just a little bit longer, being it is 6.20 p.m. in the game. Now, can you catch the trout past the deadline during the event is my question. I'm not sure. Should we? We might try it, though, just to see. You know, just to see what could happen. Because if you can catch them past the deadline, I really need to bring a chest down here. If I even have enough wood to make a chest, which maybe I don't. It is possible that I do not. Oh boy. Let's eat a chub. Alright, it's after 7. Everyone is still here fishing, so this leads me to think that you'll still be able to catch the trout even though it's technically past time. I guess we'll find out shortly. That's a pike. So we'll give it a try for a little bit more here and just see. And if we don't get one soon, then we'll head back to the farm and drop all our stuff off. Seems to make the most sense to me. Boy, the summer now is really packed with events, isn't it? Goodness, you kind of got to... Oh, yeah, so you still can. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And a tag. I am out of room for things. Alright, well, let's head back to the house. How much bait do I have left? Three. Yeah, not that much. It is a two-day event. I think. Uh, what, what, what is the event called? Trout... Derby. 20th and 21st. Ends at 2 a.m. both days. Uh, we have gotten every single reward. Okay, so maybe then we just go back and... Just trade in our tags and see what else we can get then. If those are the... We have all the items already, then it, I, I thought maybe there might be more items still. Looks like we have one of everything. Our bag is full. What don't I have, then? Interesting. Well, let's go drop some stuff off, sell some things. And uh, come on back down, I guess. Won't take that long to do any of that. Eight of those, seven of those. We'll drop off the sonar and the crab pot. Bring the deluxe bait with us. Okay, what do we sell? We sell the shad, sell the pike, sell the diamond. Sell the iridium fish. Turn you into bait. Put everything else away. Do well we're doing all that. Here you go. Look at that instantaneous. It's so fast. tent kit I have to put away. The hat we have to put away. Like, we just got some things we have to put away. I guess we're putting the tent kit over here. How much wood do I have? Not enough to make a chest. That was my fear. I was, I was afraid of that. We're just gonna have to stack things in random chests then. I don't like that, but here, this is just where we're at. 
Row. Okay. The mounted trout. What do we... Don't really have room to... To put that anywhere. All right. Uh, for now, I suppose that we'll just live inside the chest. Oh, my. Let's just restock on bait here. It goes pretty quick. I think this is what we'll do the rest of the day. And then maybe we bring one warp totem with us so that we can warp back tomorrow, like at 1 a.m. or whatever. Is that what we do? I burned through almost 40 baits just in an afternoon. So we're just going to make all of these gold star trout into baits. We are going to have to water the crops in the morning. I have one sprinkler we can go put down somewhere. And I think then the only things that we have to water are right here and then right up at the very top at the house. Nice. Let's bring the bait machine with us just in case we end up needing more. That's a pretty good amount of bait though. We can leave that in the inventory because we might get more deluxe bait anyway. Got the golden tag, okay. Let's grab the watering can and the milk pail. Well, what joyous fun, friends. We will take up the next day of the derby on the next episode. Ooh, we got level... Ooh, I mean, I do like treasure, but we do need funds. So let's get our fish are worth more. Ah, oh, yes. I love to see it. A rainbow trout. Tons of money from rainbow trout just because <laughs> we sold so many of them. Doesn't really have to do with anything else. That's not worth a ton of money. They just we just sold a lot. Now this is reliable income. Now five hundred and eighteen a day is what we we should be making now every day. Which over the course of a season, you know, is about ten k, right? We'll keep working on it. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for being here and enjoying some fishing events with me, your host, Hilhom, who loves fishing in Stardew. Oh, it's one of my favorite things. Hope you enjoyed this one. Look forward to some more Trout Derby in the next one. We'll see how many more items we can get out of this. And uh, have a great day, everybody.